It's a great symbol all over the world of what happens when democracy really works. Missouri Senator Roy Blunt has been to multiple presidential inaugurations, but this time around, he's in charge of it. Blunt's the chairman of the Senate Rules Committee. With that job comes the role of chairman of the Joint Congressional Committee on Inaugural Ceremonies. It's a small committee made up of Senate and House leadership. The committee has planned the ceremony and luncheon following it since 1901. Planning begins about a year in advance, well before the presidential election. Most everything is in place and the same. No matter who's about to become president, there are only a couple of things left for the president's preference once they've been elected. But there's still plenty to do. A couple dozen people work on behalf of the Congressional Committee to fulfill its responsibilities, which include overseeing security and planning the construction of the inaugural platform. The platform holds some of the 250,000 people who get tickets to watch the inauguration at the Capitol. So among other things, on the platform itself, you have virtually almost every member of the Congress, uh, most of the Supreme Court, uh, the president, the president-elect, the vice president, the vice president, and the new cabinet. Uh, and so you've got the three constitutional elements of our government coming together and outside. Blunt said he expects about 500,000 others to gather on the National Mall to witness the transition of power. As committee chairman, Blunt will emcee the ceremony. He has also been able to incorporate a few nods to his home state into the ceremony. The Missouri State University Chorale will perform during the inauguration. And Missouri artist George Caleb Bingham's 1850s painting, The Verdict of the People, will be displayed at the luncheon. I thought that 1850s view of what Election Day looked like, and in this case, The Verdict of the People, what it looks like when you announce the results. And some people are happy and some people aren't. Kind of appropriate for the 2016 election. You know, there were a lot of emotions. That's why the event really matters, I think, to show people in our country and all over the world that elections not only have consequences, uh, but in a democracy, people can make changes and uh, the democracy goes on, the country goes on.